What's going on guys? Welcome back to more Final Fantasy VII. Sir Joseph here. Tuning in, or just logging in for the day, you've got like this ominous dark feeling aboard the ship. Yeah, this is where Shinra was. Well, that's where they were having the meeting. I think there's like a boss battle, if I remember correctly. Some kind of Kraken or Leviathan. I'm going to. Oh, did we not sort out the party? Barrett is not giving me a choice, I don't think. Um, hold on. I need to take take away some materia. Maybe I don't. Okay, that's fine. I think we did this last time. I can't remember. Let's try to go down below deck. Oh, we can grab that materia. I know what it is. I looked at my guidebook. It's an all materia now. Totally need that, by the way. And I think that's all we're going to find. Where's Yuffie at? A suspicious character in the engine room. What the fuck? Is this a random encounter? Or did it activate when I like touched the door? No, it's random. Okay, I just wasn't sure. Yeah, let's see what anything new we got here. They're putting Ares to sleep already. You know what? I'm not having that. Major magic time. That is the most annoying move. <laughs> And that is like the most OP spell. What? It's not OP anymore. Should be... All these dudes should be close to dead. Tempted to pop off a summon. I know Ares has got a strong melee physical attack. Boom, look at that. 246. Of course, that was a criticalis, but still, that was fucking amazing. Freaking douchebag Shinra soldiers here. We might need Barrett for the boss fight because it might be ranged. Now that I'm thinking about it, uh oh. There's a treasure chest. Hold on. Before I go aggro that dude, I don't want to talk to you yet. We're still at the threat of random encounters, but I can't pass up this chest. Not on a hundred percent walkthrough. What in the hell are these? This reminded me of the, like, the little things from the, um, the Maker Reactor when we first started. Let's do... I don't have any all magic. Like, wow. I'm going to have to fix that really fast. Ares, way to go, man. I should have made her tanky, like, a fucking long time ago. Let's do it again. Actually, I think Cloud might have the all magic. Yeah, he's got the fire. I don't know why. Should eliminate them. That's right, I put the magic on Cloud because I'm trying to like make swap basically roles between Cloud and Ares. Get out of the way, dude. Come on, are you gonna let me buy? There we go. What do we have? Wind slash. I think that is equipment for Yuffie, I believe. We're not gonna be able to get to it until after this little bit here. We could, like, go back to a save point and throw her and Barrett into our party, but I'm good. Let's see what's going on here. That is not Sephiroth. Looks nothing like Sephiroth. It's a dead dude. Somehow he managed to turn around when he was dead. That just completely mind-fucked me there. <laughs> the time has come. What is going on? Oh my god, Sephiroth can materialize through walls and teleport. You don't remember me. What are you thinking? What are you doing, Sephiroth? The time is now. Oh shit. Oh shit. I don't remember this. I'm going in here. Ares is fucking near death. Oh man, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's get this sorted out. Magic. What do we want to do? I think this guy is weak to lightning, possibly fire. Uncool, bro. Okay. Bolt to this dude. Breath of Earth, of course, does nothing. I need to use it, though. 
We're at 13's pop and limit breaks now. I kind of do remember this now that it's taking place. It's been a while. So 311 from Fire 2 and Bolt 2 is going to do 279. Not bad. Now the problem with having Ares curing and being able... Shit, shit, we're taking some massive damage here. She's almost dead. She needs to get that cure off. And this guy gets like 50 attacks per turn. Totally unfair. Should have put the summon material on somebody else and had Ares just focus on kicking ass. But it's fine. We got this in the bag. We're gonna Shiva this dude. I haven't used Shiva yet this playthrough. Enjoy this beautiful fucking high resolution animation. <laughs> Shit, you know what? I remember the summons for Final Fantasy II being badass. That tells you how fucking old I am. Stop. No, no stopping. There's no stopping people. Damn it. Okay, it missed. Good. Let's try... Let's try to hit him with the chocobo. Hitting this guy with everything I have, man. Should be about dead any day now. Yep. Gonna keep on going. He's sitting here taking it deep. Yoink, I think that did it. Nope, that did not do it. Okay, that's fine. I'm still lighting this guy up. He has met his match. Um Ah, uh, what are we doing? I need, I need somebody's, fuck me, I want somebody to heal, there we go. Damn it, I wish I could learn that tail laser on my enemy skill, that would be fucking awesome. All right, we're at, running low on mana here with the red 13. Oh, okay, down he goes. Awesome. No problems there. Sixty-four AP. Hell yeah, dude! Throw all that into my materia. Love it. It's the most addicting thing ever. Power. Oh, red. That's a summon materia. I want. I want. That's what disappeared from the Shinra building. That giant tail flopping around on the floor. The arm, or it's an arm. The arm of Genova. I don't want to carry this fucking thing around with me. Okay, good. I mean, it, like, died. So it was Sephiroth. A part of Sephiroth. Yes. Sephiroth speaks in riddles we do not know. Um. I'll try. Sephiroth went off searching for the promised land so he could become the ruler of the planet. That was five years ago. Then Sephiroth came back and killed President Shenra. And then just now, all of us saw Sephiroth. Oh, I think we saw an image of him. He was carrying Genova with him. This much I do know, he told me he wants to go to the promised land with, with his mother, Genova. I guess that's about it. Maybe we shouldn't stay in here anymore. <laughs> Let's grab that. That should be it for... Yeah! Hell yes. Okay, I'm going to equip that. Alright, we got that sorted out. Sort of sorted out. The promised land does not exist, dude. It's like the Garden of Eden. It's, it's a state of mind, okay? There's our beautiful resort town. It's kind of where I live. Very, very resemblant of Lake Havasu. 
it's a tourist town here. Spring break town. Spring break, summer, girls get drunk, take off the tops, see a lot of boobies, walking all over the place, floating down the river. Damn, sure is hot here. It's fucking better than being cold, dude. You get so cold you can't even move. But I sure feel better. That's yeah, that sailor suit was making my balls itch too. All right, yo, listen up. <laughs> I liked Barrett's sailor suit. He looked so cute. What do you mean cute? Get the fuck out of here with that shit. Right. Well, uh, Barrett, why don't you use that sailor suit for pajamas? <laughs> That's funny. Let's let's fuck with him. <laughs> you look like a bear wearing a marshmallow. <laughs> The hell is that supposed to mean? This happens to be the most comfortable, so shut up. Would you kindly hurry? The heat here is drying my nose. Break. Okay, I wonder. Like, I remember getting here and, like, kind of getting stuck because, like, you gotta trigger a certain event and you gotta, like, talk to people in a certain order. Don't bother looking for me. It's a pain in the ass. Tifa. I want to see your sexy ass in a freaking bikini. All right, so let's start the journey by talking to every freaking person we see. Your stowaways, it's okay, I'm used to them. But der, 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 that guy used to be probably a stowaway too. There looks like there's somebody up there in the lighthouse. There is. I don't, no, I can't go in there. There's no like door thingy. Oh crap, the manager, blah, blah, blah. Well, hello, beauty. Look at you down here. You're on the wing of a plane. I th you look like you were on a raft. This guy don't want to... Okay, he doesn't want to talk. All right, let's get off the port into the actual village. I think we run into Hojo here, too. Oh, spoilers. That's right, we do. Shinra... Of course they're going to be here. We were stowed away, like, on their boat. They've got some kind of plan going on here. How did he hear Sephiroth was on board? We were the only ones that saw him. They all slipped through. You messed up big this time, Heidegger. do something I'll be expecting results okay so why did he take a boat ride to Costa del Sol to get on a helicopter why couldn't he just take a helicopter from Junin they had a big ass airport it was a military town <laughs> it doesn't make sense to me Questions I never asked when I was younger. Okay, now back to the action or inaction. Um, do I want to go in the mansion? I think we need to go down here first before we start exploring. Maybe, maybe not. That's right, because everybody kind of just said they were going to go do their own thing. So... There's a sh uh, like a, a house we can buy here for 300,000 gil, too. What a fluffy bed. Feels so great. Just a little longer. Longer for what? Ooh! Hey, what are you doing, dude? Oi! Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know you were here. This is embarrassing. Take your time and look around. 
By the way, are you seriously considering buying what? Nah, well, I know what he means, but... The villa used to belong to President Shinra. I don't want to buy his shitty old thing. Just knowing it belonged to him makes it feel ugly, dude. The price is a steal for 300... Yeah, right, dude. Kiss my balls, man. Nothing in here. I could take a shower, get all like cleaned up and everything, take a little nap, raid the fridge, get the munchies. Power source. Yes, sir. Oh, those items are free. Oh, I don't care if they're free or not. I was going to help myself anyway. <laughs> fire ring. That is going to do fire resistance. Somebody. Whoever doesn't have... Um, nullifies fire attacks. I forgot that was a thing. That's right. Like, you gotta, like, get your party set up just perfectly to beat some bosses. Motor drive. Don't know what that does. Do -do -do. Now, we, we do have the option to leave the resort, but if you get back out into, like, the main world, Cloud's by himself, and he's gonna get his ass beat. Aren't you bored? Oh, we fight a lot. You're just expecting too much. What happens if I tell her no? What do you want to know? Uh, I guess you can... Come on, I don't care about that. Do you want to give me a tour? Come to the beach. There are lots of beautiful women. Oh, no, that's... Um... I am rich, but just not yet. <laughs> Relaxing. Stop by the gold saucer. That's right. The Las Vegas of Final Fantasy X or seven. Sorry. Okay. Let's go check out the bar. I think they have a strip club in here. <laughs> no, they don't. I. Um, these dudes talking about their surfboards reminds me of my childhood days in San Diego before I got introduced to video games. Once I started playing Atari, man, that's all I did ever since then. My whole life, dude. Years and years and years of video games. <laughs> Come on, please. If you don't buy from me, I can't make ends meet. What are you offering? Oh, oh. 27. I'm, okay, I'm going to go ahead and buy two of those. And I'm going to equip those right away. And also, it might give me a chance to have some more materia. Now, which one was it? Carbon. Okay, there we go. Right, it did, does give me an extra spot, so... I'll just go ahead and throw that in there, and then... On his... Go... What else do we have? What can we... What do we want to level up? Since I hardly ever use that, I know everybody's weakness playing the game long enough. I think that's pretty much all we can do. Yeah, enemy skill and chocobo lure, which kind of does the same thing anyway. So we'll just put on enemy skill for now. It gives me room to grow. I don't remember that dude being there. really like this town. You could walk around nearly naked and no one would look twice at you. Well, please don't, sir. I don't want to see a freaking giant cock just hanging out. Not this early in the morning. Cocktails? What's this guy? Is this guy selling anything? Bar deal sell. Here's the tropical nights. Ooh, he gave me a drink. I thought you'd drop by. One, two, four fishes. Not bad. What the hell is she talking about? I have no fucking idea. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. Fuck you and your ball. Get out of here. My ball now. Oh. Get out of here. Ah, you are never getting your soccer ball back. <laughs> what is this guy doing over here? It's like his girlfriend's taking a bath. What's with you? We were in soldier and childhood friends before that. You were such a playboy and a fucking murderer. I'm Cloud. What? I don't even know. I don't remember that guy. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, 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 whatever, dude. I don't really care. Stuff your sorries in a sack, man.
Hey, I told you, no fucking soccer ball on my watch, you little shit. <laughs> Let's see, we're lucky to have that cutie working for us part-time. That cutie right there? The one that won't talk to me? Oh, it's Yeffy! Let me make a... <laughs> I'm selling materia, why don't you buy some? Wait a minute, is that my materia? Did you steal it from me? Fortunately, we've pretty much got everything she has to offer, so I'm good there. <laughs> Um, how about a soft? Sure, what the hell? Oh, I thought you were gonna give it to me for free. I don't wanna buy it, dude. No thanks. Um, actually, I do think we need some of those for the next leg of the journey. Things are gonna be petrifying us. Next up by the inn, rest up here. Talk to this dude. There's Barrett getting into some trouble. The one with that big sailor. Um, I guess we gotta play the fifth on either option. Listen to this, all of a sudden that big sailor just busts in here and takes over the restroom. Uh-oh. But old Barrett's got the runs, man. He's got butt pee, he's gotta go. Still too early? Oh, back to the shitter he goes. Call it a night. I'm um, sure, what the hell. I think we need to rest to trigger the next part. But the only part we haven't explored really is the beach. Be careful traveling. Yeah, I just kind of wanted to replenish my MP and stuff. Just in case. Okay, there we go. It's an automatic scene. It is not. I was hoping it was. We need to find Hojo here, some somewhere. Professor Hojo, where? They were headed west. I th okay. I guess we should chase after him. Okay, so now that's our first clue of Hojo. I think he took off to the golden saucer. We're gonna go ahead and talk to everybody else just to make sure we can clear up any loose ends and everything like that. This dude wandering around here. He's being a creeper. We know what he's doing. He's like acting like he's not checking out the girls. That's right. Totally skipped my mind. Oh, it's about that. It was yesterday. A man wearing a black cloak came up from the ocean. He had tickets for the gold saucer. Wait a minute. Okay, she's gonna tell me the same freaking thing. I could have sworn we were supposed to like run into Hojo here on the beach. You, what are you doing? You, leave me alone. Well, good. Drown, I don't give a shit. If you can't talk and swim at the same time, what are you doing? <laughs> okay, I've wandered around for about 20 minutes now trying to get Hojo to make an appearance down on the beach. And I just can't seem to do it. I don't know what the deal is, so I'm going to just try to bypass that little bit of information. We kind of know where we're going. We need to go to the south. we got to get actually through this little cave first. But that's going to be all for today. Thanks for watching. I love you guys. Stay awesome, and I will see you next time.